Incredibly, virtually nothing is known about the deep sea environments around Australia. Using the Schmidt Ocean Institute's state-of-the-art technologies, it's opened up a whole new dimension. So the first canyon we explored was the Bremer Canyon, and that was fantastic. We've discovered these incredible coral gardens. Not only do these corals form habitats for a host of other organisms, they also allow us to travel back in time to read the history of an ever-changing ocean and climate system. This coral precipitates a skeleton by adding layers. It's like a, the rings of a tree. The layers can be used to extract key information of the climate in the past. We don't know much about the effects of global warming and ocean acidification on these deep water corals. Very important samples from all depth, which is really important for our work. And that will enable us to extract continuous record of temperature, pH, nutrient fluxes, which is critically important in this region, bathed in Antarctic waters, which then are redistributed around the planet. These solitary corals have been found in Antarctica, and now we found them in these Australian canyon systems too. And we'd worked on them there, and to find them here means that we can actually use exactly the same species of coral to kind of decipher the climate history. The diverse range of ecosystems across the canyons has given us incredible images, samples, and data. One of the, our hopes was to actually find more fossil material. Well, this is a very interesting view. So we have this sort of avalanche of dead coral. So that was once very, very prolific reef. It's really strange that often you learn more from the death of reefs than when they're living, because something has changed. Many different generations and populations of corals which clearly thrived at, at various points in time. Fossil corals in particular as archives of environmental change, it's an emerging field to be able to find uh, what's really been going on in this area, which is such an important area for the ocean atmosphere climate story. What caused their death? Essentially do an autopsy on this part of the coral reef system. So we can see how these things may have been fluctuating through recent times, anthropogenic time scales, as well as during important times of Earth history and climate change. And that also has lessons for our modern reef, that we know that some types of corals are more robust to changing water temperatures and others are very, very sensitive. It's not the simple answer to say, well, what's going to happen with coral reefs? Currently, we're just working and trying to catch up of what's happening. You know, next step is to understand how can we help. We really need to be listening to the story that the corals are trying to tell us. And allowing us now to go and use our cutting edge science to uh, improve and to tune their ability to uh, predict the climate in the future. You know, it's live with us on the same planet and help us to answer questions we worry about. Now we know they're here, we have to think about and worry about what's going to happen to them in the future. There are many different scientists that around the world now that can access all this information and collectively we can put the story together. And hopefully guide better management of our climate system but better management also of this deep sea environment.